hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the master control loop so let's start with its function block and letter symbol MC as you can see MC written over here so MC is the beginning of the master control loop so just remember that every master control loop starts with the MC instruction and a number and we have total of master control loops uh, which are 0 to 127 so we have total of 128 master control loops and every MC has MCE which is the MCE which is the ending of the master control loop so the MC and MCE are always used in pairs and it has the same number and we are talking about this N if we have used two over here then the same two will be used over here and as you can see there is a master control signal so the EN to make it enable to make it zero or one it always need an input signal that input signal can be from an external switch it can be from an external uh, sensor or it can be uh, through the uh, PLC's internal coils like we can use M0, M1, M2 or any other input or we can control this uh, EN pin of the uh, of the MC instruction with the help of SCADA it can be a control signal from the SCADA so but in simple words we say that it, it, it needs an input signal while the MCE if you look at the MCE there is no need uh, for the input signal so there are total of 128 MC loops n is equal to 0 to 127 which makes 128 master control loops every master control loop starts with MC as I told you that uh, it should start with the MC a number and then MCE and a number and we have to use the same number so which is the beginning of the master control loop must correspond to a master control end instruction MCE N, which is the ending of the master control loop which has the same loop number as MC as I told you the number we are using over here it should be same as uh, we are using over here so it's if you have used 2 over here the same 2 will be used over here if you have used 20 same will be used 20 over here they must always be used in pairs and you should also make sure that the MCE N instruction is after the MCN instructions first you have to use this instruction and then after that you have to use this instruction and in the middle we can use some other instructions like the timers and counters and everything we want to use in, uh, in the layer logic programming MCE instruction does not require any input control because the instruction itself forms a network which other instructions cannot connect to it if the MC instruction has been executed then the master control operation will be completed when the execution of the program reaches the MCE instruction if MCN instruction has never been executed then the MCE instruction will do nothing and now how it works when E is equal to 0 it's active and when E is equal to 1 it's inactive from 0 and 1 we means that if 0 means when there is no input signal when there is no signal from a sensor or from a switch or from SCADA anything but when it's 0 when there is nothing and when it's E is equal to 1 it means when the switch is pressed or there is something in front of the sensor or there is data coming from the sensor then it's an active now I will make this uh, clear through the later logic programming so how do how do you how to use it let's start the programming open win pro later click new and select the type of PLC you're using and click OK click if on the keyboard and write MC and you can see MC begin begin of master control loop click OK and here you have to enter that number for example I wanna use 2 
for example so click OK and over here I want to you I want to use a timer just for the demonstration purposes so and you can see there's as it has enable input so we have to use a switch over here for example x1 we have connected a switch to make it enable uh, to make it active and inactive so now you use over here another switch which is x2 and output y0 and branch and if timer we are using the 50 and the preset value is 20 okay and uh, t50 so the y0 will remain on for 20 seconds and when the 20 seconds are completed the load will turn off and over here i i want to use one second clock pulse instruction so that is x that is uh, m 1922 and the output is y1 and over here i want to use mce which is the end of master control loop okay and the number we have to use the same number we have used two so also two now let's run and let's see what happens simulation and run plc now you can see as i told you zero means let's zero e is equal to zero it's active means it's working so you can see over here in the simulation you can see that e is zero we didn't press the switch so it's active now you can see that the output is not working and to make it inactive now you can see if i click it no it it's function normally like it's you can see now it's working and if i make it off you can see now the pulse is working but the output is not working you can see the y0 and y1 these are all in off states so it means that when it is zero the master control loop is active you can see these instructions are not working and when we make it high when the enable is one then it is inactive means the master control loop doesn't exist you can see the 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 timer and this one second clock pulse these are working in a normal way it works in a way that these instructions are not used so the master control loop is active only when there is no input signal when it is off you can see now these instructions are not working so what happens if we use instructions outside the master control loop let's use another timer over here I use it x2 for example switch x4 input x4 and the output y3 and let's make a branch and function timer and 51 timer and the preset value is 20 and same t 52 now let's play now as you can see it's active and this portion is not working okay and if i press the switch you can see it's working now this timer is not working but this one is working because this is outside the master control loop and what happens if i make it on so now you can see this one is also working and this one is also working so the master control loop will only affect the instructions which are between the mc and the mce and it will never affect the instructions which are used outside so no matter if we if we enable or disable this so if we off this timer is working and if we on this it doesn't affect this one so the master control loop always affect the instructions which are used between the mc and the mce so that's all about the master control loop if you like my video subscribe to my channel 
share my video with your friends and thanks for watching